I'm board member, I'm owner, I'm manager, but okay, I'm daughter, am I niece, what am I? Family businesses are a big challenge, but those challenges are just new ways to grow. It's a little bit of an emotional toll to define what's family, what's business. Each family member has that complex identity crisis going on at any given day, and we're only human. We have new store hours, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And then we have the receiving procedure underway. Don't forget to get your, the paperwork before you receive an order. Put your name on the paperwork of anything you're checking in and double check your work for accuracy. And then if you're that point person, do your best to you know, safely park the truck, get the paperwork, check the order. My grandfather comes in here at least once a week. He's 92 and he's giving us his wisdom and his insight. Not always the most timely, but we always accommodate him, always. He started the business in 1965 on this parcel of land. It was a fruit and vegetable stand right out by the road, but he got the whole seven acre parcel. Did the fruit and vegetable business for several years, and then he moved into the um, lawn and garden nursery industry. And we have just grown and grown. It's become a destination place, so a lot of people and businesses, landscapers, what have you, uh, will come here because it's more of a one-stop shop. Having seven acres worth of product, you can pretty much get everything that you need for whatever project that you're doing. We're on Cape Cod. It's a wonderful community and a beautiful, beautiful place. A lot of Cape Codders are outdoorsy. You got a lot of bike trails, hiking trails, gardening, yes. We try to make gardening available to everyone. We sell all tropical plants here, seasonal plants. We have water gardening and the koi pond. These koi, they're all imported around the world, primarily Japan, Malaysia, uh, some Israeli and uh, different sizes, some of them 30 years old. We have pet food, but our primary and biggest departments are the nursery, which are trees and shrubs, and our plant department, uh, uh, which is annuals and perennials and vegetables. Around 2008, 9, 10, as the economy went down, we had to wake up to a lot of those facts of professionalizing the business, creating procedures, particularly financial procedures, and really digging in and not running it like a family, but running it like a business. So we've grown tremendously. No one wants to change, especially when you've been doing something for 30 odd years a certain way and then you know, your niece comes in and says, no, we're going to do it this way. But, you know, to support her, to stand behind her, looking at the big picture, that it's better for everyone, then yes, you know, you go along with the change, even if you don't agree with it. The family dynamic can trump everything when push comes to shove. These probably just came in off the truck. And that's not necessarily right and fair, but it's an aspect of the family business. Sometimes the family dynamic wins, uh, and that's what I'm shifting. There's numerous changes, yeah, for the good. Uh, and a lot of it is, too, policy as you grow bigger. Uh, things change, and it's not the regular old, yes, family old business, you know, way of doing things. And so, you know, there's a lot of... Uh, more professionalism, I should say, is what she's really brought to the company. Being a, a third generation, coming in at a time when it was really um, bad <laughs> and really um, getting underneath what we needed to fix to keep the family business going. I came in, it was crisis. The company was in crisis, the world was in crisis, so I'm trying not to live in that crisis anymore. But I stepped into a role I never thought I could do, and I was able to. 
Never knew I had that in me. I'm proud of the way I'm multitasking, doing advertising, GM, president. And then, then the peak season here, I'm watering, I'm cashiering, I'm picking up the phone, I, we do it all. So I guess I'm proud of how I'm handling the stress and maintaining the role. My parents helped me a lot with my son. Maple sit. Good girl. Pop. I'm a single mother. And they help pick up and get him off the bus and get him to Little League. And they help a lot. We're doing really well right now. And we're into several years of growth. So the procedures put in place and the economic climate has allowed us to rebound. And just last year, we reached record-breaking sales for the company. Incredible. Every year, better and better. Obviously, across the nation, you know, the crash, uh, everything took a hit at that time. But we uh, obviously survived, you know, the uh, downside of the economy. And so now that the money's flowing again, we're doing even better. We really stepped it up in so many ways. Where we've been, we'll never, I'm never gonna forget. You know, coming in to my role at that moment shaped me as a manager. But we have to enjoy it too, and we can't be scared of growing.